Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. As usual, like the usual trend lately, we are starting off in the truck. I wasn't going to put a video out today, I was having a day off. But if you remember in previous videos, I do always say, I do look through the auction every week and I place bids on cars. And I always put a couple of silly bids on a couple of older cars and just think if I won those, they would generate quite a nice profit. They're bread and butter cars and they're handy to have around on the off periods, whereas I can crack on and get those done. So we have won a car. We're gonna head straight down there now. I did win it at Rochford Copart. And I would go as far as to say, it is definitely the cheapest car I have ever won from Copart. It was so cheap, I still can't believe it. Let's stop waffling on, let's get down there, get it picked up. It is two o'clock and I have only just won it. If you follow me on Instagram, I did just put a little sneak peek on there showing the car. So if you haven't already, guys, it's Selvage Rebuilds. I'm gonna head down there now and hopefully get it before it's dark so that we can do a walk around and I can tell you how much it cost. Quite a few of you keep uh, noticing the little Land Rover in the back of the videos and, and uh, sending me some messages saying, Rob, we thought that had sold. Is it still available? And I've received quite a few on Instagram as well um, saying, is that still available? But unfortunately, it is no longer available. Um, I have mentioned it in a previous video. For those of you that did miss that, it did sell. Um, I'll put it on there. Offers over £4,000 or four and a half thousand rather and um and it was any offer over that i was going to donate to the demelza house children's hospice and nicely somebody offered five thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds so we was able to make a donation to the demelza house children's hospice of one thousand five hundred and sixty odd pounds so very very good and it is going to its new owner today in devon this guy's come all the way down to collect it so here we go, coming out of that gate is the cheapest car I've ever bought the whole time I've been buying cars out of Copart. I'll put a little bid on this and just thought I have got to have it for that money. It is an absolute gift. 2011 60 Reg, Ford Focus, 1.6 diesel start engine starts with very very easy damage to repair let's get it loaded up we'll have a walk around and then i'll tell you how much how cheap i won this car i was just getting that strapped on there before i cut back in guys i'm well over the moon with this honestly i'm so happy with the purchase this car sorry again about the wind noise i know it's going to be bad i didn't bring my microphone i left it in the yard 2011 60 reg ford focus we do a little bit of a walk around and then we'll jump inside it but it's quite a nice model it's got all the bits on it the alleys ztec td ci diesel rear parking sensors now we have got a bit of damage here that was not part of the accident. This is obviously previous damage, but very, very cheap for a door for these cars. Very easy repair. We're gonna need some paint work anyway. Guys, there's your damage. It wants a front wing, a lower arm, a front bumper skin, and a headlight. And that is pretty much all the damage on this car. Apart from that, it's in quite nice condition. So literally, very, very easy, another bolt together repair. Obviously, lower arm on there, we'll chuck a lower arm on it and get it running and driving so that it's not stuck on the back of the truck or stuck sat in the yard. I have just strapped it up and jumped inside and had a little look, but I'm gonna get in there now and show you guys what I found. So that's better, sorry again about the wind noise. Guys, this car, I, I really can't wait to tell you the price, but I thought I'd show you around it first. It has done 98,000 miles, but it is an 11 reg car and it is a diesel. I am gonna have to speak up and turn that stereo off. We don't want no copyright. Sounds lovely. 
well, well happy with it. So I've just bent down here. It does need a good tidy out. It's pretty crusty. I open the glove box straight away to have a look, like I always do, just to see if there's any bits and pieces in there. And as I uh, pulled the door down, I looked down. Look at the size of that. Full up with paperwork, paperwork receipts, um, Ford receipts, the MOTs, everything for the car seems to be here. Obviously not the logbook, it is a category S, and they do do that now on these older cars, make them category S, but I'm well impressed. With the price I paid for this car, I couldn't be more happy, and hearing it run like that sounds brilliant. I am just gonna put it in gear. Yeah, and as you can see there, it is pulling, so we've got no issues with it driving at all. Let's jump in the truck, go through the numbers, and I'll let you know what I paid for this car. So guys, I, honestly, I know I look like a little kid today, smiling like I've just, a little kid that's just got a massive bag of sweets, but I genuinely, I physically can't believe that they let me have it. I, um, I do this all the time. I just think, you know, if I'm prepared to buy it, then somebody else is, and it will make a fantastic car. That is a lovely car, and the bits are available for them now, so cheap, it's unbelievable. And you know me, I, you know, I'll be fishing around tonight trying to arrange for the parts for this car. We need to get a lower arm for it. The bonnet completely missed it. A headlight, a front bumper skin, and a wing. And I should think I might be able to find a wing in colour. I'd definitely like to find a door in colour. it would just make a nicer job of it. You haven't got to have the door painted inside and out. But yeah, I'll bid on these little cars. I'll bid on an Astra today. And it was a 13 Reg Astra. It had done 120,000 miles. And although I'm like anybody else, I don't like to buy high mileage stuff or bid on it. But if you can win it cheap enough, then why not, you know? And I bid on that car, £450. It did look quite messy on the front, and that's why I bid. And do you know, only one person put a bid in above me and won that car for £475. Now, I, like I said, I'll put bids on a few bits and I'll just forget about them. I don't even put them in my watch list. And this car, I put a you know, really, really cheeky bid on it and I thought, I'll just leave it. And I left it in the watch list and a little bit later on, I got a notification saying, you have won, pay at yard. So I was like, oh, what have I got there? And I clicked on it and it was this focus. And guys, I know that I only bid £225 on that car. £225. I was going to go up a little bit, but I forgot to put a bid on it. And I actually won that car for £175. I know a lot of you are not going to believe it, but I've got it in my hand here and I will show you in a minute. £175. With the fees, it comes to £275. But because I paid using the preferred payment method, I got another £10 off that. So the total was £265. No, two hundred. yeah, £265, which is absolutely unbelievable. The estimated retail on the car is about 3K. Let's say 28 to 3K. So I'm thinking if we can get this repaired probably owing around 600 pounds would you not think that would be a really really cheap car for 1500 pound with a new year's mot on it i did notice a, a little bit on the outside of it when i was um, walking around it the first time the front tires are bald and how the insurance company pay out with people that have got tires like that it absolutely beats me because your tyres are almost as important as your brakes, you know. Your brakes will work to a certain degree, but when you've got tyres like that, they're an absolute waste of time. So, as usual, let me know what you think in the comment section down below about that. I'm really, really chuffed, and after we've cleaned the MG and finished Chris's van, you know, oh, we can do a video on this um, in between 
doing the LSE as well. So not only is it great content, it's a great bread and butter car. It's a lovely bit of profit for me and I'm absolutely over the moon with it. I always say you buy your profit when you buy the car. You get your profit when you buy the car. And I'm a strong believer in that and I always have been and always will be. Guys, that will be the end of the video. I know it's a short one. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Drop your comments. Obviously, I've said that about three times. I know I'm getting a bit too much with keep repeating myself, but it's because I'm excited. I'm an excitable person and that has excited me. Like, subscribe and share. Ch check out the merch. The link is in the description. Selvage rebuilds for the sneak peeks. And we'll see you very soon in the next one.